Hi everyone, I'm Ms. Faith Bo. I'll be taking you through question one of the Diamond High prelim paper today. Consider the view that technology today is helpful to teaching but harmful to learning. So the topic is technology today. And there are two parts to this question. Um, what This is what we call a double barrel question. It's helpful to teaching but harmful to learning. Okay, so be, before we, we deal with how it's a double barrel question, um, let's let's look at um, the different parts. So if you're looking at technology today, and of course, in the context of this question, you are really looking at technology today in the classroom, as used in the classroom. Um, if you do a quick Google search, um, you will see, I mean, all I did was what are the different ways technology can be used in the classroom, and you can skip through. Okay, so tablets, digital field trips, multimedia lessons, virtual reality, you can keep reading. 3D printing, that's interesting. Digital storytelling, Google Classroom is interesting. Um, projectors is very low level. Um, video conferencing, gamification, and podcasts. Okay, so um, sometimes having a sense of what technology in the classroom looks like can help you generate some ideas on how it might be helpful to learning or harmful to um, teaching, I mean, depending uh, to the question, really. Okay, so we, we have a sense of what um, technology is. So you're, you're really looking at a whole bunch, right? Google Classroom, 3D printers, virtual reality, um, um, so the use of social media, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, um, then you, you'll notice that this part has two things. It says, helpful to teaching, but harmful to learning. So then you, you need to be asking yourself, what is the difference between teaching and learning? So you, you need to be very clear about the difference. If you are not clear what the difference is, um, then you need to avoid this question. Just drop the question, choose a different question. Okay, but I think most of us will be able to figure out what it means. So teaching, of course, you're looking at imparting knowledge. So right now I'm teaching, um, but are you necessarily learning? I don't know, right? So teaching is focused, the, the, the point of view is from that of the teacher and what the teacher does. Okay, so I, I right now I'm running a question analysis. I'm using video. I am pulling out the key ideas and I am teaching certain ideas. Right, and so um, the, the, the act of teaching, so all the parts of teaching, so, so teach from the point of view, so if, if I look at assessment, if I'm looking at um, teaching in the classroom, et cetera, et cetera, um, grading perhaps, all that. Um, so all of that is part of teaching. Learning, of course, you is the point of view of the student. Um, and, and you'll be looking at whether or not you can absorb knowledge, whether you can apply knowledge, whether you are stretched um, to your fullest potential, whether you are um, in fact um, increasing in, in knowledge and competencies. Okay, so of course when it says, um, this point of view is that it's helpful to teaching, so it's helpful to the craft of teachers, about what teachers do, but harmful to learning, meaning, that maybe students don't actually learn very well. Okay, so like I said earlier, this is a double barrel question. Um, so there are two parts. Okay, so of course, this is the view that you have to deal with because it's in the question I'm asking you to consider the view. But there are three other possible positions you can take. Okay, so helpful to teaching, you can keep helpful to teaching there but you can say not harmful to learning. Okay. Alternatively, you can say it's not helpful to teaching. Then if we follow the front, the top one, you can say and harmful to learning. Or you can keep not helpful to teaching and not harmful to learning. So of course, the first one is the view that they want you to consider. So you have to consider that view. Then the question is, which of these three 
um positions A, B, or C would you like to take? Okay. Um so if I were you, I I I would be thinking that I know a lot more from the learner's perspective than from the teacher's perspective. I I may not want to go down the route of B and C where, where I want to be talking about whether or not it's helpful or not helpful to teaching because I mean I, I would realize that as a student maybe my, my knowledge is not adequate. I, I mean of course your your scripts are probably going to be marked by teachers and then um it would be really terrible if you tell the teacher that's marking your work that oh it's so helpful for teaching, teaching so easy now and then the teacher is there. Um, marking away and having a different point of view. So I, I wouldn't mess with teaching, frankly. Okay, so, um, I, but learning, there is stuff to be said. Okay, so I think this position um, might be a, a, a decent position to take, helpful to teaching and not harmful to learning. And in fact, maybe even helpful to learning. Okay, so once you have that, um, you start your essay by explaining the view that is in the question. So how is technology, how is tech today helpful to teaching but harmful to learning? So of course you need, so in this paragraph, you need to show how it's helpful to teaching. Okay, so maybe you can look at um, ease of, um, of setting, assigning work, Google Classroom, you, you can, you, and so with Google Classroom, you have all the grades um, automatically compiled. Um, you, you can talk about um, Zoom lessons, making it easier for teachers to uh, meet their students. You, you can look at, so really looking at how it's helpful to teaching um, and, and you can go on with this. But then why would someone say that technology is really for the benefit of teachers and not necessarily for learners? So you, you need to look at how it might be harmful for learning. So even though the lecture, so, so it, it, maybe it's difficult to pay attention to, to virtual lectures like right now. Um maybe the 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 lack of um engagement or or maybe there is um, a digital gap or um, meaning students who don't have uh, technology can't actually access right which makes it more unequal. Um, so, it, if I'm going to do this digital gap thing, um, I will probably want to rebut it before I go to the point on how is tech today um, helpful to teaching and not harmful to learning. So um, if I were doing that, I, I might do a quick rebuttal about the digital gap and, and look at um, education systems and schools providing um, laptops and personal devices so that uh, everyone has the, the platforms to learn from. So I, I, may, I may say that if, if schools are able to provide um, students can have access and learn. And, and then after that, I'm going to look at reasons as to why it is not harmful to learning and in fact may be helpful. So there are some ideas that you can look at. Um, so of course, asynchronous. So I'm going to give you some key terms uh, um, that, that you need to know when you're looking at writing an education essay. So asynchronous learning is learning any time um, useful for 
lifelong learners, um, learners who are already working. Um, you, um, if you're looking at technology, it is good for differentiated learning, meaning or uh, differentiated instruction or differentiated learning, meaning you students get customized lessons um, based on their uh, pace of learning. And teachers are, will be able to use technology to customize these lessons by providing scaffold for those scaffold for those who need more um, support. Okay, so teachers. Another term that you, so of course, the idea of engagement as well when you're looking at technology um, is interesting, it's fun. Um, I don't know whether you saw online the, the first grade teacher who arranged a virtual <coughs> journey to Mexico. Oh, it's, it's really quite fun. Yeah. And, and if you look at her setup, she, she, she set up a screen. And then they, she, you know, the, the students go through customs and so on and so forth. So, so they have that, that aspect, which brings to maybe the last idea that technology can be used to facilitate authentic learning. So if you're looking at poly, uh, poly techniques, um, they, they have a lot of high-tech equipment um, such as flight simulators, kitchens, and, and all of this simulates um, real life. You, you could also look at um, uh, 3D printers, maybe, and, and so on and so forth. Um, so that, that's quite a bit you, you can use. Um, and then finally, you, you need, at the end of it, you need to come back to the idea of it's helpful to teaching. Um, you might want to say something clever at the end to, to just bring back the, the two parts of it. Um, like tech might actually make teaching more difficult as there is a lot to learn on the part of However, because of the gains to learning, is ultimately helpful for both teaching and learning. So, if in this paragraph, when you're looking at how it is not harmful to learning, um, you you may want to weave in. If you can weave in a little bit about how it makes it helpful to teaching as well, okay. But if you can't, you can bring it in at the end, um, because you would have already established that it is helpful for teaching in your first paragraph. Okay, so remember that by the end of your essay, you must deal with both parts, um, and so for this essay, the thesis would be a. Um, helpful to teaching, not harmful to learning. Okay, I, I'm sorry, I think this one is a little um, hard to follow, but um, it should give you a sense of uh, how to approach a, a double the barrel question and give you some ideas, some things to look at as well when you're looking at education. Okay, thank you.